Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, April the 8th, 2013. We'll be looking at Alcoa today for our uh, Dow 30 alert, and this is important because we just had the uh, announcement of the earnings for uh, today's after the market close came out, and they actually um, beat on the uh, earnings per share number, but they were uh, shy on or they missed on the uh, revenue projection. Now, there's a couple things you need to know about this before we get into this analysis here. Uh, the first thing is that they have already lowered the bar on you know all past uh, quarter for uh, the earnings projections for many of the companies that we're seeing. So uh, if they start missing these numbers, um, they've already lowered the bar. So that's really, really bearish. And then if you uh, see a little beat. Um, remember that they've already lowered the bar, so it's not that big a deal. You lower the bar so that you can beat it. And in this case, Alcoa came out and missed on its revenue, um, but hit it on its uh, earnings. So this is what you need to know. If you've been to the free website at PerfectStockAlert.com, you already know that we have videos there uh, at the website that teach the fundamentals as well as the technicals. So we show you guys how to actually read an income statement. <coughs> Excuse me. How to read an income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement. And the income statement, the very top, the very first line will be the revenue number. The very bottom line would be the income, uh, net income figure. So uh, whenever you hear these two numbers, which one do you pay more attention to? For me, it's more about the revenue line than it is the net income because I've already shown you guys on that tutorial video series how easy it is to alter that net income and kind of get what you want or what you need and different ways to do that. The revenue line is more important to me because it shows the total amount of money the company generated for a particular time period. Uh, and if you're seeing this number missed, then a couple of things that could be happening here. You could either, if you're missed comparative to last year, you could see that the economy is weakening from one uh, period to the, uh, one year ago than today. Uh, also, if you're, you're starting to miss projections there, you might uh, be seeing an economy uh, starting to shrink or, or weaken there. Uh, so this is something to pay attention to. Not so much just one company, but if you start to see a trend of that happening because we're going into earnings seasons, this is important. You need to think about this moving into the rest of what's going to be reported. Again, uh, pay more attention to the revenue line uh, as opposed to the net income. And on, in the case of Alcoa, they missed on the revenue line. Um, so this is important to me. I'm going to be looking at this chart. Obviously, uh, it's pretty clear that it's in a downtrend here. You've had this lower a low from this point to this point. All this time period, you had a high point here and a higher high here. This was conflicting signals. You didn't know which way it was going to break until it did. And then you got a lower series of lows. And now you're in a downtrend. So we start to watch and we see the bounces come up here. And we look for a nice sell opportunity. It really hasn't been one. We had a couple of sell signals at the 200 period moving average right here. Um, but it was very muted. And when you had the rest of the market going up, it's quite easy to miss these little sell opportunities. Uh, now we've pulled back down here and we're getting this nice little bounce. I want to see this bounce come up here if we can get that and get a nice shooting star signal. At that point, I would be looking for a sell opportunity. This is not something I want to be a buyer on, even on this news that we've had that the, the uh, net uh, figure was um, better than expected. Uh, it's not important to me. Uh, we'll get this bounce. We're still on a downtrend. I'm looking for a sell opportunity on Alcoa. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.